So I received a quite an interesting email today talking about why does my Wi-Fi not work when I install this firmware? Now normally I get emails asking me why the hell does my TV box not work when I've bought it from you and well I don't sell TV boxes so it's very frustrating getting no sort of emails and quite funny at the same time. No I don't sell TV boxes guys but for those guys who have a genuine question I will answer you and today I thought yes let's let's discuss this matter why doesn't my Wi-Fi work when I try a new piece of firmware on my TV box maybe I try Coralec maybe I try Librelec or maybe even Lacquer or some of the retro gaming systems that we've looked at recently or even if I've just tried to install a piece of firmware that the TV box manufacturer has sent to me why doesn't my Wi-Fi work well this rabbit hole goes quite deep and it's quite interesting so today's video is all about that and why the hell does my Wi-Fi not work? So this story kind of takes me back to when the MXQ project all first started and we were using the old MXQ S805 TV box and what got me into it was when I first realised that these old TV boxes could actually run much more than just Android and it was Kazak actually who was a developer at the time releasing um, Librelec for these boxes. Actually, I think it started with OpenLec, but it quickly moved over to Librelec. And we started using it, and I thought, wow, this is so much better than Android. And at the time, Cody was very much a big part of my life, and it was a big part of um, a lot of people's lives. I'm not sure what the entirety of the scene is now, but at the moment, I'm not really into Cody, but I'm sure you guys at home are, and it's a very useful piece of software, but not something I use much nowadays. But back then, it was a big deal, and I really wanted these cheap Android TV boxes to work really well, and we came across LibreLec, or rather OpenLec, and Kazak was heavily involved with that, and at the time, we were just using these very cheap MXQ S805 boxes to run this software, and it was fantastic. It ran really, really well. But we came across a few TV boxes that just didn't seem to work with the Wi-Fi. Now, as far as Kazak was concerned, he was um, he was doing everything he could to actually make these TV boxes, this particular set of TV boxes, work perfectly. And I didn't really realise much about the software side of things at the time. I didn't really understand anything really in terms of how things worked. And soon I realised that these Wi-Fi drivers are a little bit tricky. Actually really, really tricky. Because it really comes down to will the Wi-Fi chipset manufacturer produce a driver for whatever you want to run on the box? So at the time we were running KitKat, um, Android 4.4.2, can you believe it? And all the Wi-Fi drivers worked beautifully, whether it was from a Realtek or from some other manufacturer. But would it work on LibreLec? Well, no, because you had to have a different driver for that particular development. And would the manufacturer release it or not? Well, that was a that was a question that I couldn't answer. I didn't really know enough about it. But Kazak had, um, thankfully, managed to obtain enough of these Wi-Fi drivers to actually make his development in LibreLec for the MXQ um, worthwhile because he managed to source them and get them all working. But what was interesting was when the MXQ S85 came to the end of its life, um, manufacturers decided to really cheapen down on these TV boxes because at the time we had a board known as a HD18Q board. Now this was the board of choice if you really were into it and you really knew what you were looking for. It was a really good board, really well made and um, for a lot of people it was just a really solid device. But when the MXQ S85 came to the end of its life, they decided to start releasing these new boards and they included a much cheaper Wi-Fi chipset known as an SCI chipset. And unfortunately, that Wi-Fi chipset made by this company, SCI, these guys decided not to release drivers to anyone 
no one can get hold of them now i'm not sure in in its entirety what the status of that is at the moment i don't particularly delve into that too much but as far as developers were concerned at the time they just couldn't get hold of this particular wi-fi chipset and which meant that kazak's development couldn't work properly on these boxes we had other issues as well a lot of freezing issues on these particular boards i believe it was like um board revision version 1.2.0 or something like that and it was a particular style of board and for some reason Lieberlec needed a lot of tweaking to get working on them I do remember quite quite clearly I got a bunch of these you know later generation MXQS of fives and it was just painful Lieberlec would install and it would work but then about half an hour into playing something maybe a video or whatever it the whole box would just freeze and i'd never experienced that on previous generations like the hd 18 q or the b-link version of the mxq box which was just a basically a b-link mxq so now we had an mxq release that was pretty shoddy to be honest with you and things just didn't seem to work properly but as well as that, at that time, we released a video that was talking about Loipot for the MXQ. Now, this brought us a whole different set of problems because, you see, when a new operating system comes along, say, the latest version of Android, it means Wi-Fi chipset manufacturers need to release a driver that will work with this new operating system. So we had Lollipop, although it, it wasn't an official release, it was just a, a cobbled together release, I guess, but it worked. But it only meant that we only had, I think it was like maybe three or four drivers that were compatible with Lollipop for the MXQ set 5 and so we've had, I think it's hundreds of thousands of people installing this Lollipop onto their MXQ boxes, but only a handful of people being able to actually get Wi-Fi working on it. So this extends as well to new TV boxes because we are seeing a lot of new TV boxes getting updates with new operating systems quite frequently. So this begs the question, will your chipset manufacturer release the driver for it and whether the manufacturer of the TV box will they include the right chipset driver in that firmware for your TV box well these are questions that over the years I've kind of just come to the conclusion that these small companies really really just don't care that much about that they might release a new piece of firmware for your box whether that Wi-Fi driver will work with your box is another question in its entirety you see when it comes to manufacturing these TV boxes, the TV box manufacturers produce them in batches and they will get a whole bunch of components and uh, well, whatever's available really and they will then produce the TV boxes and then once that batch is done for that particular brand or branded box, they will start on something else and then they'll come back to it. But you see, they won't use the same components because they can't, they can't get hold of enough of the same components. So they'll change it out for some other brands. So like I was talking before about the SCI chips, yes, the chances are they use them because they're cheaper, but it's just what's available really. So this will ultimately mean a new board design and a new set of chips used on that particular board and ultimately that will mean for you guys at home that you've got although your box says mxq pro or whatever it might be entirely different to the friend that you've got down the road he's got an mxq box but entirely different pieces of hardware inside so this means we've got a whole bunch of firmware floating around on the internet ultimately that's got loads of different wi-fi drivers built into it will it work on your box no idea and even though it might seem like it's right for your box doesn't necessarily mean it, it is right because it's so hard to tell so what i want you to take away from this video is that third-party developers people on freak tab people we talk about here on the channel they really do go to great lengths to produce these developments for your tv box and it's incredibly hard to make a universal system for the boxes because there's so many different variations of these devices that it's almost impossible it really is especially when it comes down to android firmware you've probably seen a couple of times on this channel this year where we've talked about certain android developments that have tried to make it universal across a bunch of boxes and it just 
it's so difficult it really is because of the variations when it comes to these boxes and the chances are when it comes to android firmware it's going to do some harm to your box whether it just bricks it entirely or it just you just end up with um uh, android firmware that half half of the stuff works wi-fi probably doesn't work ethernet will work if you're lucky a couple of usb ports might not be working and so on it's just it's just the way it is unfortunately with these tv boxes and it ultimately boils down to the fact that these tv box manufacturers are very small operations they don't have a huge amount of resources especially when it comes to sourcing components when it comes to developing firmware for the boxes and ultimately they're just not equipped really to do it. They're, a lot of them are out just to make a quick book. There's a there's a handful that we've co come to get to know over the years here at the MXQ Project that do, you know, put a lot of effort into making their TV boxes. But ultimately, at the end of the day, they're kind of still in the same boat because they're very small and they just don't have the resources available to them to make a TV box that can be worked on easily. And, you know, and when things go wrong... You install the firmware and it just goes horribly wrong because there's you know the things just haven't been put in place to you know prevent that sort of thing happening so anyway that's my video on why your wi-fi won't work hope you enjoyed it we'll see you very soon